yeah, it's just a lot of, hey, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we're here at the park with Adam Rippon. Now, I'm super excited because you're on our Creative 100 list. Do you consider yourself to be a creative person? I do. Yeah. And, um, you know, I always like to take risks mm -hmm. when it comes to my style or the things that I am really passionate about. Yeah. And I have these two quotes that I live by and okay. love. One of them is, um, to shoot an arrow, you need to pull it back to let it go forward. Oh. And it reminds me of that, like whatever choices I make mm -hmm. or whatever um, things I want to try, even if they don't come out the way that I want them to, yeah. it can just be a launching pad to go even further. I love that. It's kind of like if you want to make an omelet, you gotta break some eggs. Yes. Gotta go back before you can go forward. Absolutely. What's your other quote? My favorite one is, what would you do if you weren't afraid? Oh. That's so deep, that it hit me so hard. I know, be careful on the swings. <laughs> but you know what, I love it because it reminds you to take chances. And if you want to do something, to just go out there and, and try it. You know, being an influencer kind of online these days isn't something anybody could have predicted. Is this where you thought your career would have gone? You know, I am a little surprised, but at the same time, I feel like I'm at a time in my life when I am ready for it. Yeah. And that I feel really lucky that at 28, I have a lot of experience that I feel like I'm able to offer a lot more. Yeah. And I'm really way more self-aware of like who I am and what I represent. Since you have all this life experience, like you were just saying. Yes. What advice would you give to your younger self? as you're like starting out maybe in skating or your hobbies, what advice would you give to yourself? My advice that I would give to my younger self would be to worry way less about what other people think of me. Yeah. And it would be that if you do things and you're passionate about them and you're doing them for the right reasons, mm -hmm. That's all that really matters. Oh, you're talking to someone who worries for a hobby. <laughs> like that makes I used a to lot worry as a career. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Before I set you free, what yes. does being creative mean to you? How can people be creative in their everyday lives? I think that if you want to be creative, mm -hmm. you need to take all of those little ideas that are in your head that you have and you need to put them into action. Yeah. And I think being able to put those ideas into action is what being creative is all about. Mm -hmm. It's about having a little bit of courage, being a little bit braver, mm -hmm. and just pushing yourself. And uh, that's what I admire in all of those people that I consider to be like those creative minds. Mm -hmm. You're one of them now. Well, you said so. <laughs> I'm just swinging. From all of us here at Adweek, congratulations, Adam. Thanks again for chatting with us. Have a good day, everybody.